Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak again. I got an uh, email by somebody who has a YouTube channel, and uh, Panaki, I think that's his name, Panaki, I hope I'm saying it correctly. Uh, but this relates to my last video that I did. And his um, YouTube channel, I have a link below, you can click on it to kind of watch and look at his tanks. He really doesn't do much talking. He's basically showing his tanks with music. But this is one of his aquariums right here. And it, it looks something like you would see like in a mono tank, right? Uh, looks quite beautiful. But uh, I'm going to read you his email because it was uh, quite interesting, I thought. And basically backs up what my YouTube video was about. And uh, I'm truly inspired by your video and wanted to thank you in person for such educational videos. Your planted tank is lovely and your efforts to introduce a hassle-free, low-maintenance filtration system is truly commendable. I quickly wanted to share with you my own experience with BCB bags, which means he's using an anoxic filtration system. Inside this particular aquarium, his substrate's very thin. My 50-gallon Plant a tank is mostly dominated by epiphyte plants. Now, an epiphyte plant is not a, uh, it's a plant that could um, stick on to something like wood. We have them on terrestrial and aquatic, but they aren't parasitic plants. So they may stick on to something or adhere to something, but not be a parasite on what they're sticking onto. Um, and so basically, that's what he, the aquarium you're looking at is an epiphyte planet aquarium. I just added a very thin layer of sand and backside of the tank. Didn't even have any substrate or sand. My planted tank is about to be one year old and is thriving. But when I put forward the concept of not using any substrate for the epiphyte dominated planted tank, I had been hounded by fish police. If you remember the video where I talk about like fish police that seem to be on forums. And I did want to make mention that I was on a um, forum once many, many years ago, and I stay off of forums because of being hounded uh, by these fish police to the point they literally ruined it. And I don't know why people do that, but uh, they seem to get some kind of satisfaction on if you're on a forum and you're trying to tell them something, all they want to do is be vindictive and ruin it for everybody. And there could be people who are really interested in wanting to learn something different. So I, I, that's why I did that video, because it's happened to me. So I personally stay off of any forums because of that reason. Because it's very easy for a hobbyist to hide behind, as I said, a screen and cause troubles than it is to do it right in front of you, because then you can challenge them. Um, they, in various forums and groups, mention that this type of planted tank approach will never work. Okay, so he came up, went on a forum, nice guy, hey, I'm going to try this, I'm going to have uh, epiphyte plants, uh, I'm going to just use a little bit of sand just for decoration, but I'm going to use an anoxic filtration system. And, of course, they basically beat them up about it. When I saw your video of mentioning fish police and their dominance over what they feel is right, it reminded me of my own story. I completely stayed, st I completely stand by your principle and advocate not to be discouraged by various fish police or so-called fish experts. 
However, let me tell you how the BCB bags help me, which she's talking about the anoxyfiltration system. The right side of my tank used to get direct sunlight. I had to clean the glass on a weekly basis. But after I introduced two BCB bags, you see chem fluorite red substrate. He probably used that in place of the laterite for the iron. Astonishingly, there's no more algae. Even my front glass hardly sees any green spot algae nowadays. And of course, he gives the link, which I have below. It's not only algae, but my nitrate went down from 20 parts per million to straight below 5 parts per million. So now I know, even if I feed more to my fish, I have a BCB to take care of the extra nitrate. I believe the BCB bags can be a game-changing innovation in planted tanks, filed and all thanks to you. Okay, let's see. I am just a mere hobbyist who also documented my work over a YouTube channel. That's why I suggest that maybe you want to click on his channel because he's documented everything he's done. Please feel free to visit my channel. In the future, I will document more on BCB bags and will share them with you. I hope with all these uh, accumulative experiences on BCB bags, I will be much easier for new hobbyists to venture into planted tank hobby. And uh, I want to thank him for sending me this. And I did go on his channel. And yes, his tanks are beautiful. But here's a person who uh, listened and when he went on forums to try to tell people how he wanted to do something, he basically got beaten up that, no, it won't work. Well, if you look at his pictures, you, you like the one you're looking at here, um, I guess he was right. The tank worked just fine. His nitrates went down. His plants are doing great. And uh, they were wrong. And I really can't understand why people get so adamant about what they tell other people instead of saying, you know, hey, that's good. Try it out. Let us know. See if it works. No, they got to be adamant. Just get brutal with people that you're not listening to us. But this has happened forever, and I, and I don't really understand why it's really happening. The only thing I can think of is what are people so scared of? Here is another individual who's went through it. And uh, Panaki, um, his tanks are absolutely beautiful. Take a look at them. Click on the link below and maybe you'll get some ideas. Um, on how to make an aquarium. And, and I was quite surprised. He, the epiphyte plants that he's using uh, are doing so well. But then again, I had the same thing. And my plants did well too. So just a short video. I want to thank him for sending me this little note. I thought it was interesting. I think it's uh, interesting for a lot of you out there who may also venture on forums and all of a sudden people are trying to discourage you that know you have to do it their way. Uh, don't get discouraged. It's just the way people are. And uh, for, for unknown reasons, what are people so scared of? I mean, really, what are they so scared of? Are they so scared of success? Are they scared that you're going to do something that uh, will be successful? I, I don't get it. I would be happy if people did something that was successful. I, I would be. I, I think a lot of people would be. So 
why do people become very adamant and torment other people just because they're going to do a planted tank and they're not going to follow your rules. And as I've always said, if you do something and it works for you, great. That's all that matters, that it works for you. Anyhow, this is just a short video. This is Dr. Novak. I want to thank you for watching it. I hope this video encourages some people to stick to your goals. Don't let anyone try to convince you to change. If you feel that something's right, you want to do it, stick to it. Keep at it. Success is right around the corner. Until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and happy fish keeping.